to do it anyway. Just to, so. Ah, it's got the back of my big old head on there. Okay. Uh, is it is it working? Yeah, it's working. Sweet. Chris in here. Chris is in here. Okay, I see it working now. Awesome. If anybody's watching this live stream, this is the way they're all going to start until I know that I'm smarter than my computer and I'm smarter than Dave. So just get used to this on a, on a weekly basis. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Ten minutes early, guys. It's, it's you know it's not too early. What's up, Joey? But let's see. Chris has cleaned first, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did. Yep. Yeah, he did. That's awesome. Sweet. Michael, Michael Ombre. What's up, man? Thursday hype, he says. No. <laughs> the this, hype is only on Saturdays. This only is the is. Scott attack right here. Well, it's more like Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil. You know, it's usually I'm, I'm the fat one. This guy. <laughs> Boston Mike says hello, hello. He can't join in. He won't be home for a few hours. Well, I hate to tell you, Mr. Mike, I will be asleep probably by when when uh, those few hours hit, but that's okay. Man, you, you can do it from your phone, you know, Mike. He's probably still working or he's probably out running around, man. I wouldn't want to do that as well because he'd be, com he'd be coming in and out of, this, of the live stream with a signal, you know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Tyson from Faithfully Bearded is in here as well, which is awesome. Tyson, what's up, man? I don't think Tyson has tried any Boston Beer Company yet. I don't think he has. What's up, Beard Tap, Matt? See you in here, bro. Oh, he is in here. Oh, I didn't see it. I did not see that one. Bill from 607 Beer Care is in here. Check that out. Oh, oh nice. What's up, bro? Thank you for coming in. On a vape break. Smoking that vape. Well, I'm not a smoker, but... I, I can't I can't say anything when it comes I, I don't do it so I'm like okay yeah and it's not to diss anybody I'm just don't smoke <laughs> man I smoked the e-cig for like six years bro so I ain't wanted to say nothing yeah yeah already up, junk. Man? yeah his his signal's junk he's already had to restart three times yeah he's out running around that's all right that stinks well it happens man Thanks, Vic. It's it's not quite a beard yet. I still got like another like a month and a half yet. Yes, but it's coming. The the, the beard true. is coming in pretty nice. This is true. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Mr. Taylor? Nice to see you, sir. So um not to put it all out there public, but have you you got uh you narrowing it down the choices on what we just talked about before we went live, or are you looking now? I'm actually looking – I have a spot that I'm probably going to go talk to during the week because yeah. like Saturday, I don't know. But I'm going to go around and I'm going to look for a job in the next couple weeks here so I can start working before I get out of school. But uh, right. I got one more test. I just scored like a 90-something on it today. And then I got one more test next week, and I'm done. No more tests. So What is – What are, are these hard or are they written tests? No, they're multiple guests. I mean choice. <laughs> <laughs> Testing or if it was book testing. No, it, I mean you gotta like look at Miladies, which is like the barbering book that they use. But it's yeah, it's it's a lot of lot of studying. And then I use like this thing called MindTap to study because it's like basically what's on the test. You do that, you answer some questions. If you get them wrong, then you go back through it again and you just kind of try to get to know everything. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, man. All right, yeah. That's cool. Thanks, Mike. You saw the razor review. Cool, man. Yeah. What's happening, everybody? Hey, Mike, Boston Mike, you are welcome, man. It is no problem. Thank you for having me do this. I greatly appreciate it. Kind of rambling right here at the moment because I'm actually early. I, I'm, I'm, my, my live streams are going to be like this probably early just to test the signal out from now on just to make sure that's right. No, no looking. You, you get a van and be mo mobile motivation. That's a good idea. Actually. This guy wants me to get a van and like drive around and like. Hey, little yeah, boy, you can't let me cut your hair. <laughs> You're going to live in a van 
across the country, and you're going to be sanitized, sanitized when you literally are just mobile everywhere. Sanitize. I have a barber chair in there. You know, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I've seen some pretty cool, like they take a, uh, like a, um, the wind, you know, the wind, uh, what are those things called? The metal, like mobile homes, you know what I mean? The yeah, ones that about the one look like a silver bullet. Yeah. Yeah. They take, they took those and they made the inside of it like amazing, man. Like it is like going into a barbershop. Crazy awesome. But yeah, I mean, that would be, that would be nuts. One of those airstreams. That's what they're called. Buy a lottery ticket, <laughs> Dave. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> no, um, Gary. D Dave has been awesome enough. He's helping me get my live stream set up on uh, the past two weeks, just to make sure that I'm comfortable and I know what I'm doing. So appreciate him doing that. It, it, I really do, because I'm not smarter than any of you all. The same. <laughs> Scott, you're so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. This guy, I can be, uh, I, I'm, I can be a moron from time to time, you know. The a moron, <laughs> Adam the Barden is in here. Oh wow, Adam the Barden, I know that guy. Yeah, a Bill from six oh seven. He he's, he hops in. He's taking a little bit of break. He must be out on the on the rig working, which is awesome. That he took time. Six oh seven beer carry. He's in here now. Right on. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. I think I've talked to him maybe once or so. Nice guy. Really nice guy. But, Scott, you can lift heavy things so it balances out, right? I pick him up I and put him down. down. I guess. I mean, I, I can't, you know. Uh, now, I am fat, so I guess I have that going for me, too, so. Here we go. If you only knew, that's all I can say. Welcome to Dave. Welcome to Dave Mobile Barbershop. Come in and get motivated. Dan, there you go. That's, <laughs> perfect. that's, like, that's perfect. I do one thumb for sure. Can't do two. Welcome to Dave's Mobile Barbershop. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, you should have like one of those anyways, right? <laughs> Fix from Sweden is in here. It's one o'clock in the morning over oh, there. Yeah, yeah. PHX, what's up, man? That's so awesome that he's in here. Yeah, so that's that's cool, man. Let me make sure I got this uh, muted off and stuff. Yeah, do good, perfect. Somebody put a, a comment. Uh, there oh, we go. Put it in there. <laughs> There's some of them that uh, I got to make approve, which I don't know why. Yeah, see, I did the same thing where I said it didn't matter unless there was like two words that I didn't want people to say on my streams, and that was it. So I was like, it's weird that I wouldn't just. Was one of them beard brain? I don't know, man. I can't say it. <laughs> just saying. Bearded <laughs> Nomics is in here. Oh, crap. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Nomics? How school yeah, going, Namix? At least one of us can read. He can read. That that's good. Beer joy, one of the best times of the week. Oh, right on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Skywalker from Canada's in here. Look at that. What's up, dude? You I got a few all the races in the van, but Dan C would chase you around. He don't even want to trim. Yeah, that's true. He would do he that. Want to trim? He just tried to get the Reese's. <laughs> he he like he would he would call you you know to come to to, to come to him for the right. trim. He'd be like, I just want your Reese's pieces. Yeah, I'm just and gonna Reese's. steal your Reese's pieces that you have in your van. He he film it. He probably film it too. Had to move. Had to move taco to Tuesday to Thursday this week. Can't miss out on the taco. What the hell, you know. Barbado Joe is in here as well. That's awesome. What's up, Joe? So we got 25 people watching in here. It is 7 o'clock, people. So where are you from, Canada? I'm not sure. I have to ask uh, Skywalker himself. Well, it is 7 o'clock, people. We started this live stream a little bit early because 
I want to make sure that everything is up and tested and all that stuff and ready to go. Boston Mike actually will not be in the live stream tonight. He said he is going to be out. I think he's probably working. Said he won't be home for a few hours. And Dan's next how to video, how to video, how to steal a barber's Reese's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anybody, so anybody, welcome to tonight's live stream. Uh, we are releasing the Boston Beer Company's holiday scent tonight. It's a it's a two ounce beard oil and a two ounce beard butter as well. This is the first one that Mike has offered in two ounces. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a complete man manly man scent. Like there is no other way to describe it. I'm looking at I know the scent profile, but I always forget one, so that's why I got it up here. Hennessy, James Hennessy's in the house, which is awesome. Thank you for tuning in, James. What's up, Hennessy? Uh, the scent profile of this, he it was it was his uh, take on like a reminiscent of like a holiday scent. It's, it's not a Christmas scent. So don't anybody get that confused. He was going for like a theme of like the Doc Holiday, take you back to that era. It's black pepper, gunpowder, cedar wood, amber. Pipe tobacco and leather. This is one of the most manly scents I've ever smelled. Did I hear are we talking about that amber chick again? Yeah. She's, she's a monster. Man, she gets all over the place, huh? Yeah, she does. What's going on? You're we're releasing holiday from the Boston Beer Company today. That's what we're talking about. They're asking if it's live on his uh, web store. Which I'm pretty sure that it is because I don't think Mike would have me doing this unless it is on there. But the, the release was supposed to be today, so I would imagine that it is up and running. And I'm not exactly sure of the prices. I, I, honestly, I cannot remember, but I, I know that the, the oils are in two ounces. I know that for a fact. I'll look it up really quickly just for you guys just so that I have it. Which one is this that you're releasing? Oil. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. Michael Taylor said, "Smash that thumbs up, people." Yeah, awesome. Thank you. If you haven't smashed it, smash it now. Yeah, I think you said a combo was like thirty four dollars. This I, actually, I'm looking at it. I'm pretty sure that this is his limited edition. Yes, it is. This is in the limited edition section of the website. It, it's, on, it's on the limited edition. It's $34 for a combo. Cool. Yeah, go down to it says catalog. Go to catalog and then go to limited edition. It is the only option there. And it's $34. And give you a little... We'll talk about it. It's a two ounce bottle, as you can see, as compared to this one. There's the one, there's the two. You know what? I got one there. You keep doing your thing, Scotty. I got you. Then the two ounce bottle of oil here, and typical eyedropper, you know, amber glass. The labeling, like I've said before in my review, it's a piece of vinyl. It is always one of the, it, it's one of the best labels that I've seen. It's waterproof, it's oilproof, but the skyline of Boston, look at it. It's really cool. It's classic. Got the holiday. And the Jim's glass jar. There's the butter. This is like like me and uh Bo the bearded shark have said. This is like a hybrid butter. When I say that. It's got a little bit of a hold to it, so it's like the best of both worlds. I actually, I'm wearing it right now. It's actually, it's out of my beard now. It's been in my beard since 1:30 this morning, and lit. And, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, the scent doesn't last 16 hours, but it lasted probably about 10 to 12. And this is a very manly scent profile, you guys. The black pepper isn't 
a lot of people have asked me. The black pepper is there. It, that it stands out, but it's like a mix between the leather, the gunpowder, and the black pepper. That's what I'm picking up the most of, and that's why I say this is like a manly, manly scent because I really don't know what else you could say for like manly leather, gunpowder, black pepper. If you don't like any of them, put a woe in front of your net in, in front of your gender. That's all I'm saying. There she is. Who? Amber. <laughs> you don't see my screen? Am I showing you my screen right now? Yeah, I do. I see it. How'd you do that? Uh, screen share. Oh. So while you were that. talking, I just went to the site and I showed them how to get there. Oh, well, see, there's the scientific and the smart person of this one two combi o and nation we have going on. That's that right there. There she is. There's that darn Amber again. Yeah, that's. I'll take a look at the screen, guys, and that it is in the catalog and then under the limited edition um, menu, and that and that's what you'll see. Thirty four dollars for the combo, and it's a two ounce oil and a two ounce butter. I don't know that there is a beard oil that will last all day unless you add the balm, which I do with the engineer by Fable. Yeah, that, that's very true, Michael, because, you know, as long as, and, and I've said this before in videos, as long as the uh, the scent lasts me a good four to six hours, I'm really not, I don't really care. I really, and, you know, you can't, something's not going to smell the entire time. Wish I could be relaxing and watching the stream. Dan C. Bearded. Hold on a minute. I'm getting a message from Dan. Oh, he's, oh, he's at practice. <laughs> he's, uh, that, um, Dan, uh, uh, if you're watching or if you do watch it, thank you for sending me the message, man. I appreciate that. He sent me a picture of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With this, we can't watch uh, we can't we can't watch this other stuff. Can I I'm gonna completely go against just because I can, I'm going against Beardonomics' comment that Chesapeake lasts all day long. I'm just gonna say it. Because I can't. No, it don't. So you can argue with me all you want. But as of now, it don't last all day long. No, we're changing it right now. Change right here. Right now, he said. Right now. No, no. I, uh, I've i been testing out a few companies' uh, oils. I've, I've been wearing oil only for quite a while. And some of them, which, which I I never really thought about this here until I started using oil on how Dan has said in, in some of his, his stuff that um, there are styling oils. Yeah, but I, I see it now. I see it because my beard is like it didn't move for like the past 10 days. Like some oils, I, maybe it's just the thickness or whatever. Like I put it in and it, I'm like, oh shit, like my, my beard actually looked decent. So, or it could be the simple fact that Beardonomics is going to sit there and call the man who invented the un-American term an un-American. Now he is officially Zeno. That's what he is. He is officially Zeno, which means foreign. He's no longer an American. He's Zeno. X Zeno. <laughs> you don't even get an American status. <laughs> he did it himself. It's almost like Matt Hardy. Delete. Matt Hardy. Delete. Right there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Vic McIntyre say? Well, Vic McIntyre is now officially banned. He is. He is now banned from giveaways. Oh, that's, no. That's it. You know what? Maybe you're good. Maybe you're good mullet wearing buddy. Maybe you and him should start hanging out. Yeah. But anyway, we got a comment. Johnny Grooms is in here too. What's up, buddy? Johnny Grooms is in here. Check it out. Finally got it unfrozen. Website must have been messing up. Or maybe he's losing. Nomics made Scott's list. Yeah, you can say that. He made the Chris Jericho list. Yes, he did. 
<laughs> Stop pulling out all the stops. <laughs> well, I can, you know. So he does. Hold on. Yeah, he threw it down. That, that, that just happened. Like, threw the hammer down. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, Johnny Grooms. I appreciate it. I really do. How many we got? 27. We got 15 likes. So let's see if we can get some likes on this video. Here, let's get some people in here. Um, I know I know somebody's probably going to ask me. Maybe maybe you need a can of positivity, sir. Well, it just so happens I do have a can of positivity. Oh, energy. look at this cat. Holy cow. I do have one. But we do have happy trees up on the wall. So we're just we're gonna hold off. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Well, I'll just make that a bird. <laughs> yeah, there's no mistake. Just happy accidents. That's what we do. That's what we do here, people. He was the best. You dang all right. He was the best. Uh, but just in case anybody's asking, because I know someone may ask I stream. I do not know if Boston Mike is doing any kind of giveaway. I don't know. If we don't, we don't. If we do, we do. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. What Scott said. Well, I mean, the, and, and a, a lot of companies, they will give away a couple things whenever they release a product. That's cool. But I will say this. If we do a giveaway tonight, whoever went, whoever will win it, I have one specific rule. You must make a video review on Instagram or YouTube of Holiday. Why? Because there isn't one yet. That's why. That right there is a good reason. But I will agree with what Mike or from Adam the Barden says. No need to give away this stuff. Just go buy it. I got it in my hand. I actually had the original tester. I gave it to my coworker, Kyle, because I knew I was getting this coming anyway. And they wrote, they both smell the exact same. Kyle absolutely loves this stuff. And he's not a scented fan. He likes the unscented. He says this is his favorite scent. Before he was using colognes and his, his wife kind of wasn't fan. Not Boston related. Any idea on the Cavendish release? Ben Taft, to answer your question, that will be released next Thursday here with me and Brian from Beards and Banjos. Brian will be my guest next week. Dave will be my guest every single week just because Beard Motivation is awesome. <laughs> Releasing a scent on Patriots game that, day. That guy you did. That, you see that? That was not planned. I ordered, and when it comes in, I'll be doing a review anyway. That's awesome, Chris. Cool. Yeah, Chris is good stuff, man. If anybody doesn't know Chris, he's got that uh, company, the that company to be named, just the first letter of each word. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that because uh, I knew his name was Chris, but I keep forgetting yeah. that Chris Fanstock is that guy. To be named later, I believe, yeah. is about at the end. Yeah. Yeah, it will be released next Thursday here on Beard Times. And Brian from Beards and Banjos will be my guest, and we're going to release it. It's actually in the mail right now. We got to talk to Pete today. And Pete, if you're watching, welcome back from your vacation, your 50th birthday. You definitely deserved it, which is awesome. I was right. It is the company to be named later. So TCTBNL is the name of his YouTube channel. That is a very different handle to use. I like that. Acronym. <laughs> it's like tick nibble if you want to say it in a word. It's like tick to nibble. That's what it is. Sounds like something you'd say when you're like drinking too much scotch or something. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Uh, when will the company be named? That is a question as well. When will that company be named? I have no idea. I mean, maybe that's about the company he reviews. I'm confused. So I'll look away like I'm in confusion. So the company to be named later is maybe the review that he's going to do later. Like, I'm going to review this one later, or I'm going to review this one later, or, whoa, did you see that? To be named later. See? That just happened. <laughs> now nah, I, I i like that it, it's it's not it, it's not uh chris's youtube channel or it, it's a very original the company to be named later i like that yeah i like his i like his i watch his quite a bit yeah 
pretty cool. Yeah. It's hard, hard, hard. Hard. <laughs> oh, okay. So he so he will make it a name of it in the future. That's cool. It's been a running joke for a long time. It started on Facebook when I started making paracord straps. Okay. All right. That's cool, man. Paracord straps are awesome. So while we're while we're here talking about this, um, it's not actually product related to this, but I gotta ask. How many people here actually have seen the movie Tombstone or or know any, or, or um have know about it? Because it's actually one of my favorite movies. It is. Both of them. What's that? Both of them are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I really do enjoy the movie Tombstone because uh, Mandy was talking about maybe getting me a, a, a cowboy hat of some sort for Christmas, and just I was looking them up because I've always said I wanted. Val Kilmer's like hat, and I looked into it. It actually you can get it made, yeah, for almost a thousand dollars because literally that style and that hat was made specifically for him. Like he was like, "This is what I want it to be," and that's what it was. You can buy it on his website for almost a thousand dollars. So I'm like, "Yeah, okay." For a hat, it better drive me places. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have to walk; it just carries me around. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading with Chris all the way. Yeah, I love Tombstone better than the actual Kevin Cosner movie of Wider. I, I, I was Tombstone. Kilmer does kill it as Doc Holliday for sure. Yes, he, he does a, an amazing job in that. Great job. That yeah. is one voice that I just cannot get. I, I, people say that I'm a good impersonator. I, I cannot do that one at all i've tried i get laughed at so bad every time i try it mandy's like she's like stop just give it up <laughs> i do care we have a problem here yes well i, I may be deranged but i guess i'll just have to call i like Kobe, Kobe darling. i like where he comes over from the tree and he's like i'll be your huckleberry <laughs> that's my favorite part <laughs> say when and he's just tapping, tap, 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 tap. So <laughs> we could almost call Johnny Grooms Johnny Ringo. Hey. I don't know. I hate him. I do hate him. I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> he sure do got a pretty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm reading Michael Taylor said, you'd be surprised at the, the country music stars pay for hats. Yeah, that is very true because I talked to Culture Wall, which is his hat is up there on, on the wall back here. It's actually right above my, my finger. It's the first one. He's, he's from Saskatoon, Canada, and he's like a really, really good folk style country singer. I think he's amazing. He told me he bought a Stetson hat, and I think the cheapest one he paid for was Fifteen hundred dollars, something like that. The cheapest. Cowboy hats are expensive, man. Well, it was made by Stetson. Stetson is a very, very famous um, cowboy hat company. I'm, I've seen. Young Guns one and two are nice as well. That is that are two movies that I've always wanted to watch. Yeah, they're good. I wanted to buy, but it is I, I I use Voodoo. I try not to buy DVDs as much anymore. Because they're going to be obsolete anyway. But those two movies, they won't release digitally. And I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> so let's get into the let's, let's get into the talking about this product here. What we're here for is holiday. Again, the scent profile, straight man, black pepper, gunpowder, cedar wood, amber, pipe tobacco, and leather. It's a really, really good scent. I did watch both the Young Guns. I, I, I spoke wrong. Man, that that's good. That's a really really good scent. And now, now as as I'm smelling it, like really digging into the scent. Pipe tobaccos. Uh, the pipe tobacco coming out more. The back the back scent I'm smelling the least amount of is probably. 
probably the cedar wood, the cedar wood and the amber. It's probably the, the back two scents that I'm getting up front. It's it's the the gunpowder and black pepper. Not this time, Amber. That's right. You, I think you don't like her. Man, she's oh. everywhere, bro. She's trying to get me in trouble. Just saying. This would be the one. Hey, I'm wearing emos in here. What's up, emo? Now, I will say this. I will say this uh, to, to what Adam said from the Barden. Mandy is not a fan, a big fan of leather. So this one she did not like. And that's okay. She's just not a fan of leather. That's fine. But don't don't but don't let this mistake you. It doesn't litter. It's not like leather in your face. It's just it. When you smell this scent, it, it just it puts you in that mindset. Be the barber is in here. Holy cow! What up, B man? What's happening, brother? Stream on Instagram earlier. Now he's in here. What are you doing, man? That's my buddy from California. Awesome guy. Awesome, awesome guy. I love this guy. Yeah, you know, if you don't know D Hyde's channel, go check it out. Be the barber. It's about being the barber. That's what it means. Be the barber. Talking about someone being the barber. You know, it's awesome. Yeah, I totally. Beardonomic said that Amber gave Dave syphilis. I don't even want to know anything about that. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. I'd have some explaining to do. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Reading comments. Sometimes you just got to make them like leather. No, no, you got to think though, Mandy. We we have we have horses on the farm, so we do have the leather um, saddles. I, I couldn't think of the word. We we have leather already over here, but sometimes leather can be super duper strong. It's like in your face. This one isn't. This is a very good, very good blend of all this together. So it's a pretty subtle leather scent, is what you're saying. Yeah. It, it, it's it's enough to let you know that it's there. The pipe tobacco, like as I said, as I'm smelling this, it's coming out more. Dave would be dead, and Molly would be standing over the dead body. Yeah, that's pretty much it. She'd be going ha ha ha. Yeah, this this is this is going to be a scent that you guys are going to like. I, I hope you do because I, I do like this. And again, it's a two ounce butter in a glass jar, and I call these like the cosmetic little toppers. Because I've seen these in co women's cosmetics. So I just call it the cosmetic topper. Take a look at the butter. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it has, what's up, bro? It does have some body to this butter. It, like I said, like me and Mo said, it is almost like a hybrid, like a balm and a butter, the best of both worlds. It's a good butter. And I, it's in my beard right now. And like I said, I haven't done anything to it. It, it it holds down the flyaways. That looks good. It's a really, really good nourishing butter. I use it at nighttime, but I will say that I will not be using the uh, the holiday at tonight because Mandy doesn't want to smell it. So that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, no, totally fine. Hey, who's your daddy? What's up, man? Greg Larson's in here too. Oh, there he is. Is it a balmer? Technically speaking, yes, Greg. I would say yes. Uh, if you're just coming in, I don't know what you heard. Uh, Beards and Banjo says, I'm not a, the biggest fan of leather scents. They have it. Yeah, that, and that's true. That the, A lot of them are strong. This one is not. Uh, who's your daddy's in here? Yes, Greg. We're talking about the holiday from the Boston Beer Company. At, um I do have a discount code for the, for this company, and honestly, I can't remember it off the top of my head, so I can't give it to you. That's my fault. <laughs> you think of what off the top of your head? I have a discount code that, uh, for, for my subscribers and followers for Boston Beer Company. I just can't remember it. But the scent profile, the scent profile, again, is pipe tobacco, black pepper, cedar wood, amber, gunpowder, and leather. It's... It's straight man. I told Mike that if he if he's gonna name it something else, it should have been called man. M A N. Capital M, capital A, capital N. Yeah. But yeah, I will agree with you, Adam. Yeah, yo, you you don't need a discount code because you're getting a two ounce bottle of oil of this and a two ounce butter. 
it's worth the money. And this is the first this is the first one that Mike has made in a two ounce oil. So you're getting a plus there. Yeah, that's super cool though. Yeah, now a lot of companies make uh, two ounce oils. They actually, you know what? It's not pretty cool. It's it's wicked awesome, Mike. Okay, it's wicked awesome. I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. It's wicked awesome. Wicked and awesome. Normally, I, normally I would uh, normally I would you know be cussing up like a storm. and that's the bottom line because I said so. That's pretty much it. We're gonna put we're gonna show that one right there. That that's that's going on the screen now. Party people, tag team back again. See, you wasn't even ready for that, Dave. You wasn't even ready for the tag team. Let's direct it. Let's begin. Party on, party people. Up again. Oop, there it is. You remember the the Be With Some Butthead remix? Whoop, there's my butt. That's what they said. Jeez. Oh, I'm not even going to get myself started on that one. <laughs> uh, wicked awesome, kid. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, did you see those khakis I picked up off the ground? <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because he's not in the live stream, but I was expecting him to have like foul mouth like in the comment, just, just so it's there, you know? I don't think he has. I think he's doing something so he can't, you know. He's a busy man. He yeah. is. He's a very busy man. For sure. Because we were going to release this actually about a month ago, and that just shows you how busy he was. And that's cool. That's fine. But uh, exactly, there's no R in the Boston language. It's true. This is true. Yeah, that's true. Hey, metal guy, what's up, man? I see you, Stephen. So, is that technically a foreign language? Because you're not using all 26 letters of the alphabet. I mean, if you listen to him without. Could you go with it as being like an accent? Because Northerners like Minnesotans. All right, I'm answering a question from Tyson. What is my favorite Boston set? I haven't tried all of them. I haven't tried the orange and black pepper one. I can't remember all the scent profiles that he's made. I can bring them up, but I don't remember what all of them are off the top of my head. But the one I like the most is Sinatra. Sinatra is um, Aaron Rodgers, actually. I think he... Threw this in Mike's ear. It's strawberry. Not a lot of companies use the strawberry scent. But think about this. Think uh, I, I'll ask you, Dave. What is the number one thing that uh, a company you see when they when they do a tobacco? What do they add with it? Vanilla. What? Okay, I meant uh, like fruit, cherry. Oh, cherry. Yeah, cherry tobacco. It's For sure, yeah. cherry, cherry, cherry tobacco all day long. This is the very first one I have found that has strawberry in it. And I will say this. Churchill is a good one too, Adam, but it uh, it's apple bourbon and leather. Yeah, that, that's that's the Churchill. That one I could wear more of a nighttime scent for me. And the Sinatra, I would wear all day long. Sinatra is in my top 10 for oils of 2019. I'll say that. What's up, Javier? Nice to see you, brother. Here on the mic is on here. That is awesome. Strawberry. Like vanilla. Yeah. yeah, Greg, just like a swisher sweet. Swisher sweet. Swisher sweet. My review on Churchill drops tomorrow. Churchill is on the top shelf as well. Actually, all three of them are. See, I've never, I haven't tried any of Boston yet. So as soon as I try some Boston, man. Now, the one Mandy likes the most. Is bonfire, bonfire, and I said this to Mike, and I didn't, and I and I'm not gonna throw up controversy or anything, you know, because I'm just giving it to you guys raw and real, like I always do. This scent is similar, similar, not a not exactly alike, but similar to 1912. When I smell it, it kind of reminds me of 1912, and that's cool. Because that is still the number one scent in the Magruder Mansion. That that's Mandy's forever favorite scent. It's a freaking good scent. <laughs> it's, just, it's similar to it. I, I will say it, it's got some rem, rem, reminiscence of 1912. But the one thing I like that Mike did as, as a pairing, because it's like a smoky scent, you know, it's like an old fashioned scent. 
he he told me to uh, pair it with ash. Ash literally smells just like a straight campfire. That's what it smells like to me. They work together very, very well. Scott and Dave, you're not seeing my comment. What did you say, Vic? Oh, I got to go into the other thing here. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I did. I wasn't trying to flash it up there or anything. You know, no offense, uh, no offense, Vic, but I, I the the code probably it may not even be available to use for this because I know this is a limited edition set. Like this will not be a permanent thing. It may be later on down the road. For right now, it's just a limited run. Bonfire is gone. Beard stuff with Wilbur. That is a, a. I don't think I've ever seen this person in my in my live stream. If What's I up, man? nice to see you. Bonfire is a good scent. It it really is, Michael. Uh, if you if you are a fan of smoky scents, you'll like this. I heard brown sugar beard oil makes you want to eat your beard off your yeah, face. That, that is the one set I haven't tried from Mike that everyone's like, oh, you should have gotten that one. You should have gotten that one. What's up, Miners Beard Company? What's happening, bro? What's going on? That's a, that's a that's a new that's a new company that's that's coming out with some good stuff too. Doesn't matter what your new number one is. Tyson the Rock says you like them all. <laughs> Well, that that says it all right there. Uh, we'll show you guys something. Since they're, in, since they're in the chat. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like toilet water. I mean, hey, it depends on whose toilet water. It could be really. Like how I just threw that out there, straight face, like, bam, y'all weren't even ready for that. Did that just happen? Hammer down. The dad threw it down. No, we're working on something here in the future. We got another one coming out here soon. Another tester coming to me. Just stay away from the method. <laughs> Jeez. Chris, you're hilarious. So how many people have bought the uh have bought holiday in here? Let's see. Just to see. How many of you have, have went and bought it? Because I do think that you should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Just because Steven's in here. There you go. A little metal horn. Scott, you need to try Miner's Billberry Thriller. I have it. I have that one. It's a good one. It is good. All it was a all his false sense I had were good. There wasn't one I didn't like. Now, check that out. I'm going I'm to highlight that comment right there. Another company bought Boston Beer Company. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's freaking awesome. Yes, it is. That's wicked. That's wicked awesome, Keith. So, waiting for payday, Johnny Groom says, uh, Chris Fanstock bought one. Uh, Beard Stuff with Wilbur just bought one. Did you say uh, Wilbur? Cam is saving money for his trip to Kansas. Oh, okay, man. Beard Stuff with Wilbur, I think, actually, I just, I think he just started following my... He may start to follow my YouTube. I don't know. I think he did. Get them before they're gone. Get them while they're hot. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a limited edition set. Yeah, you guys. So like, I'm not trying to force you guys to buy it, but it, it's not going to be a very last cent. It's not going to be uh, all permanent. The simple the set, oh, here. I'll black, send black pepper. I got it. I got it right here. It's black pepper, oh. gunpowder, cedar wood, amber pipe tobacco and leather it is called holiday i'll hold it up here again and this is a reminiscent it makes you think of doc holiday not a christmas holiday scent so i just want to make sure that uh people don't get it confused andrew what's up buddy and there's the match the match of butter as well miners beer company psycho spy uh, good i'm glad you got that I got banned from winning by Scott and banned from buying by the little lady. Well, she got <laughs> double whammy. Well, that's your stupidity, kid. Uh, is the cedar a fragrance or essential? I'm pretty sure it's an essential. 
Because I know Mike doesn't use a lot of fragrance oils in his product. I would imagine it's an essential. Hold up. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. I would imagine it's an essential because he, if it was, he, I'm allergic to cedar essential is why I ask. I heard that this one smells so good that you actually have people give you money while you wear it. Whoa. Now we're talking. You're going to give me some of that. Fix 73, dude. We have scents that are just, you need to come over here. You just need to come over here and I, you'll be like, oh. So, you know. Make it an essential oil. Yeah. Yeah, it's an essential. I figured it was. Psycho is awesome. I haven't tried it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's uh, from Fable. That one is a uh, like a blood orange scent. I like one. It's actually right here, right in front of me. Looks like the garbage pail kids, you know, the cards you had when you were a kid. I told, I told you that. It reminds me of like a garbage pail kid. It's I like so it. awesome. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think his artist knocked it out of the park with that picture. That was great. <clears throat> Barden, that's a company that I haven't tried still yet. Barden's, uh, I think you would like the tobacco bourbon. I know. That's the one that everybody's like, you got to try that. You got to try that. This is the first scent I've tried of his, and it's it's actually really good. Yeah. Like you said, you don't like the strong leather scent. Yeah. I don't get a strong leather scent on this one either. Dave is, Dave is live on live stream, dear. He can hear you. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Dave. What are you ironing, dear? For what? Out of your face? Uh, you putting an iron on your face? Talk about the walking dead. Damn. Oh, the derma roller. Okay, the, the derma roller. Okay. Barton is fire butters and washes are my favorite. Now, I will say this coming from Boston Mike himself, he told there it is. He says Barton's wash is tied for the best wash I've ever used. He told me that before. What is this? Uh, <clears throat> your face, you're a dead man, Scott. <laughs> oh, Michael Taylor says he wants brownies. That brownie came from Hershey. From actually Hershey in Pennsylvania, from the Hershey uh, store. I don't mean to be a party pooper, but uh, I got to get going here, buddy. You do. You I, you have to go eat your dinner. I do. I do. What are you having? Mandy wants to know. Manwich. Oh, that's one of her favorite foods. Molly made some sloppy manwich. Jelly. She's having manwich. Are you having tater tots? No, she made French fries. Okay. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, tater tots, manwich. That is man. That's what Mandy calls the world's most perfect food. You could put that in like a. She like does. A, it, it, she you puts it all together. It, yeah, you can make a hot dish out of it. That sounds amazing. Scott looks like the bearded Larry the Cable Guy with sleeves cut off. You just you are literally at the bottom of the awesome list now, Tim Strickland. Way you to go, are no dude. longer considered awesome. Nope. And I keep trying to tell him not to say things like that, but he just doesn't nope. think before he types. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Brian says that Barton is one of the is one of his favorite washes, best, best gentle wash on the market. I'll get to Bar I will get to Barton. I will get to try them. I will. Mike, you're typed for the most Boston guy that I know. He most says, and then Boston says, hey, well, "I'm the only Boston guy you know." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I know, Mike. Mike, I have not tried. Uh, I have not tried the Barton yet. I have not. Tell Dave we're now besties. Oh, uh, Mandy says you two are now besties. Is what she says. She even did this motion too. Nice. Awesome, Arthur. Glad to hear it. <laughs> he even called you Arthur. That's how I know you are besties now. <laughs> Uh, he didn't know. He does now. He did not know. 
Sometimes, she, sometimes instead of mac and cheese, she'll throw in the box julienne potatoes. She'll Ooh. throw those in. Uh, a hot dog every now and again. You know, just cut up some hot dogs, throw it in there. World's best junk food. Yeah, that's what she calls it. World's best junk food. Yes. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks for having me in, guys. Go buy some Boston, huh? What are you doing here? You better get over to the website and get yourself some some Boston. Some wicked awesome stuff. Wicked awesome kit. Wicked awesome kit kit, man. Go get some uh, wicked awesome stuff over here at the, the Holiday Butter and Oil Combo Station over there on the Boston Beard Company's, uh, you know, website. I want to I want to do it so bad, but I, I, I got to watch what I say. So I'm trying not I don't want to do it. <laughs> Just talk like Mike for the entire thing. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks, Scotty. Appreciate it, man. Hope you have a good night. I'll be watching, though, while I'm eating. Uh-oh. Maybe I'm going to wait. Thought my Boston accent was bad? Come on. Am I the one frozen? Is he frozen, guys, or is it just me? Is it just me? Oh, no, it's definitely him. Yeah. I didn't boot Scott up, man. I'm just going to hang here for a second and see what happens. Oh, he'll be back in in a second, hopefully. He'll probably end up calling me. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to Beard Times with Scott with Bearded Motivation. Huh? Imagine if I would have gotten off. Then what would have happened? I didn't do anything, man. I'm just sitting here, you know. No, I, I, I mean, psh. that wasn't the worst I've ever heard, Dave. <laughs> I got a buddy from Boston. Every time I talk to him, I'm like, how are your khakis? You got them in your pocket or are they on the floor? Oh, flow. How do you guys say floor? Flower? Flow? How do you? I don't even know. I'm not trying that one. Dave's <laughs> Thursday night beard times. Yeah. You need to make a video on how to sharpen straight razors. I need help. Okay. Got you. We'll do that. With a smile on Scott's face. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if, here's my question. Is I want to know if he knows how to, like, I bet you he's watching me right now on his channel. You think? Think that's happening right now? It'd be awesome. Dave twice a week. Woo! <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, I'll get that out, Brian. I'll do that soon. Probably this week. We were talking about that uh, last week, I think, when I was talking to you guys about what to do. What you guys would be interested in. Channel takeover. I don't know if he knows if he's taking over or not. I should send him a text message, huh? Like, hey, yo, Scott. I'm just asking him right now if he's coming back. So we'll see what he says. We're fit. You know, over under five minutes. How long until he notices? I don't know, man. I've been hacked. <laughs> See, I told you you'd come in here in the comments before you would come out here. <laughs> That's great. You should be able to come right back in like you came in the first time, bud. Bruce kicked him out. We turned into Bearded Motivation times. Bearded Motivation talking about Boston, who's got that awesome new, uh, wicked awesome new holiday amazingness. Need bigger internet pipes, Scott. Yeah, you know what this is? It's a gun rack. I learned that from Vinny P. 
Uh oh. Hold, please. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, I, I don't know what the hell just happened. But like, uh, <laughs> I'm still on here. Like, I completely exited it all out because my signal just went like haywire. So go so back in. Just go back in, like we were. I got it, guys. Calm down. I'm taking care of it. Sed just jumped in. What's up, man? Nice to see you, brother. It says hack hacked, aka I got your mamwich. So they. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. Uh, the, the, the signal kind of screwed up. There he is. All right. He's back. Back. Back again. Go ahead and talk, Scott. You're in here. I just made sure everything was up to par. I had to, I had to make sure. I didn't know. I Sorry. lost signal, everybody. Um, terrorism. We're going to blame it on terrorism 100%. That's exactly what happened. That's what we're doing. Actually, you know what? We're going to blame it on Vic McIntyre because that's the bottom line because I said so. Cedric is in here. I'll be damned. Look at that. Smoking wet in the house. It's a nice hat that I got on there, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty nice. I like it. Shake my beard. I can actually do that now. Check it out. Not today, Isis. Huh. Terrorism, those damn Canadians. Adam, I'll remember this. <laughs> I'm, I'm highlighting that one. <laughs> That's funny. So what we were talking about, like I said, sorry, I, I lost signal. Dave kept it going. We are talking about the holiday scent from Boston Beer Company. It's an awesome scent. It's a very, very manly scent. Oh, you know what? The one thing we did not talk about today, what is in everyone's beard? What do you got? Uh, what do I have? Minoxidil. Yeah, I bet that smells very nice. <laughs> I mean, about as good as it's going to get, I guess, huh? Ooh, love me some smoking pine. No, there is. It is not a holiday scent. It is literally. It is. It is reminiscent. It takes you back to the Doc Holiday era. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go get something to eat though. I'll see you boys later, Scott. I'm glad I could keep you in here. See you guys. There. Now we did it right. That's exactly what happened today. The legend from USA Beards. Psycho from Fable. That's a good one. Billberry Thriller or Blueberry Thriller. That's a good one. What does what does uh, Mike? What does Boston Mike have in his beard? You have De Cleve, Nick uh, McMahon. That's what you're wearing. Honest Amish. Can't go wrong with Honest Amish. It's good stuff. Vic McIntyre is wearing Scarecrow, which is cool. Muff Diver. <laughs> I have a scent called I literally cannot in my beard today. Okay. That's a different one. If you guys, uh, if you haven't tried anything that Boston Mike has made, you're missing out. It's one of the best companies I've worked with this year. I will say that one of the one of the best companies for sure. I'm reading your comments real here, Boston Mike probably has Tom Brady in his beard. I've got a tester in beer. That's dope. Nice. Soul Mojo from Chesapeake. Oh uh, yes, uh, Cedric did make that scent. Boston or Boss Man Stage Goat Oil, not the jelly. How is that? Oh, that's right. Mike is making a coffee scent. I forgot about that. He is. Boston Mike's making a coffee scent. So what I'm going to be wearing for the night, I will, I will not be wearing a Boston beer company because I'm testing out. You probably can't see it, but on my hat, Fresh Beards. They sent me a, a package to try. And I'm using their Woodland 
beard butter. This is like a cedar wood patchouli. This is actually, this is a good one. The scent's nice. I'm actually using it for the first time. Not to focus them on camera or anything. I, I'm not doing that. I usually put product in while I'm talking to you guys. Boston Mike was the real life reason Ted was made. They both are the same height. Oh, oh, oh that's messed up. <laughs> Fresh beards make some great butters. Well, I am going to find that out in the weeks to come, Greg. Did you get to do cocaine with Flash Gordon? <laughs> put the access on the body i heard mike was an inspiration for alf mike is a really cool awesome guy he is i started watching his instagram videos and such and he started watching mine he's a good dude i talk to him on a regular basis he makes really really good products i do recommend anything that he makes and i still haven't even used all of his products yet i will i will get to them all beer jelly is a combination of beard oil and beard balm fix. It's um, to make from for me. It's a mainly something I would use for nighttime. There's two companies that I know that make it, and that is the ball the Boss Man brand from Texas and Chesapeake Beer Company. They call theirs uh, Mojo. Is what they call it. It's basically it's a fairly thick product, and you literally do not need to use a whole lot of any of it at all. And that is one thing that I said in my video. That is the one thing people talk about it. They, it's too greasy. It's too greasy. You literally need like a drop of it. That's all I use. Like just enough for to cover my pinky nail. That's all I ever used. And I think that is the misconception that people, one of the main misconceptions that people about it. But if it is, but if, if it's not that, Maybe it is greasy for you, but I never had a problem with it. I never, I never had a problem with that. Scott, I don't see Muff Diver on Cedric's site. It, I don't think it may even be out yet, but I know that he's been talking about it. So it is, if it's not available, it's definitely in the works. I'll say that. But tonight, a uh, Boston Beer Company has, they, they've uh, released their, uh, you can you can order from Amazon fix. You can order the boss man brand from Amazon and Chesapeake will ship it international. But I know you have to pay a lot more money to get it. So I don't know how much that would cost you in the end. But boss man brand beer jelly is on Amazon. So I know you can get it. But Boston Mike was nice enough or nice enough. He wanted me to release his holiday which is reminiscent of Doc Holiday, not the Christmas holiday season. And uh, it's one of the manliest scents I've ever used, I will say. It's got six, six, six oil or scented oils in one. Black pepper, gunpowder, cedar, pipe tobacco, amber. And I'm missing one. I always miss one every single damn time. It's black pepper, gunpowder, cedar wood, amber, pipe tobacco, and leather. That's the scent profile. It's a straight, mainly, mainly, mainly scent. There's no other way you can talk about it. It's really good. Boss Man is running sales at the moment, too. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about their products. I really can't. I've never had anything bad about them. The one thing I do like that they make was their, was their conditioner. I used their unscented one, and I liked it. I thought it was good. It's really good, actually. Mike is a marketing genius. Good Christmas. Come Christmas time, he's going to have everyone Googling holiday beard oil. Yeah, he will. He, he is very smart about doing that. I, I'm not sure if he's going to keep keep it or have it available at Christmas time or not. I'm not sure. I know for right now that holiday is a limited time thing. Um, but And it also comes in a two-ounce oil. A two ounce beard oil, that's his normal. His normal one is a one ounce and the two ounce butter 
it's really good, guys. Like I said, it's a very good beard or beard butter, and it has a little bit of a hold, a little bit of beeswax in it, so you get a little bit of a hold. And my it held my beard almost the entire day. So that should tell you something right there. Colin is doing the beard ornaments for every Christmas sale. Yeah, I did see that today. That's that's a good thing. So I hope you guys actually do go and get you some Boston Beer Company, especially the holiday, because I'm, I'm actually I think it's really awesome that he had me do this. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, Vic says he's trying the boss man pomade for beards. Haven't tried that. I heard about it. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Sweet. Really good marketing would be an oil called Best Beard Oil. It's named Best. Very true. Very true. There was a company called the Best Damn Beer Company. I remember reviewing them a long time ago. I do remember them. I'm reading you guys' comments. It's eight o'clock, gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and call this a night. Sorry for the uh, losing the signal earlier. Uh, things happen. Shit happens. What can you say? But I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And I want to thank Mike. Appreciate you very much for having me release your holiday bundle. I enjoy it. It's $34 in case you're wondering, guys. It's worth it. It's really, really worth it. You're getting a two ounce oil instead of a one. You're getting a really good butter that was going to give you great nourishing conditioning. And a little bit of a hold as well. And it, in the quality, it, like it looks really, I don't want to say flashy, but it's got class to it. And presentation, first impression is always like, that. that's like what people, they want. It, it's got to get their attention. If Boston could make some Oktoberfest oil, that'd be sweet. That's a good idea, Greg Larson. Very, very good idea. I will say that that's a great idea. That is a good idea of a, a, an October fest oriented beard oil. Hmm. Interesting. And thanks to Dave from Bearded Motivation. Yes. Thank you for setting it up. Thank you for always helping me out. I greatly appreciate it. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. If you haven't already great guy, great content. And he's officially going to be a barber here in like three weeks. He will be an official out of school barber. And I can't wait to see where his journey goes from there. It's going to be awesome. Mike, I don't know how well my live stream was for you. I, I hope that you sell out of this very quickly because you deserve it, my man. You make killer products. Everything that I've tried of yours, I've absolutely enjoyed. There's not one that I haven't liked at all. And holiday stands right beside it. I do like this. I don't wear, I didn't wear the, the first bottle I had. I didn't wear it all the time. But when I wore it, this was an attention getter. And I think that's another thing that's going to stand out. The people are going to be like, what is that? What is that? They're going to want to know what it is. This is one you guys are going to want to try. Wicked awesome product, kid. It's good stuff. Get yourself some holiday. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream now. You guys have a great night. Keep on bearding. I will be out of town for the rest of the weekend. So I will message anybody when I come back Sunday or Monday. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.